The Samsung Q1 is a really excellent ultra mobile PC. It has plenty of processing power to make Windows Vista and watching videos look great. Surfing the internet is made easy with the mouse joystick on the left, two mouse buttons on the right. They've included a four way switch that allows you to scroll up the page or down or hit the back button to surf back to your previous page. My only complaint is the tiny little buttons that are packed in tight. Here we are in Google, if we wanted to enter the word time, the T is fairly easy over here on the left, but the I, the M, and the E are buried in between tightly packed keys. It's very difficult to try and get the thumb in there. They say you shouldn't complain unless you can offer a better idea. My better idea is the purpose of this video. If you're keeping track, this is my second sleight of hand trick. Watch carefully. Without touching any of the keys, I will type the word time and press enter. T I M E Enter. Not bad. How was that possible? Would you believe psychokinesis? Before you label me a nutcase and hit the delete button, Let's take a look on the back side. To perform this trick, I chose the KE24 keyboard encoder from Hagstrom Electronics. It is ideal for this application, easy to program, and comes with a detailed user's manual. Connected to the encoder, you'll see under the shiny little aluminum button, eight five-way switches four on the left, four on the right. Some of you may have used this switch on your cell phone. It is often referred to as a navigation switch. You're looking at five switches in a tiny little package. I hand soldered the switches to the back side of the encoder. The encoder then connects to the USB port here on the top. Moving back to the front, Hagstrom supplies the encoder with uncomplicated software that allows the user to assign any keyboard key to any switch. After the programming was complete, I wondered, how do I remember what button to push to get the letter that I want? To solve this problem, I got a piece of transparency paper and a fine tip felt tip pen. I filled in the 20 letters over on the left and the 20 letters over on the right. The white paper helps you see the letters a little better. The software also comes with a toggle switch which allows me to switch between two different key sets. That allows for a total of 78 different keys. I then put the cheat sheet here on the front and you'll notice that even with the cheat sheet in place the touch screen still works. With this setup I can see the position so I know which key to press for what letter. I really hope someone in the electronics industry will incorporate my sleight of hand trick in the next UM PC, tablet PC, or mobile internet device. If they do, I'm willing to bet they will leave the competition with their little tiny buttons in the dust. What do you think? I'm also building a sleight of hand trick kit. If you're interested in building your own, contact me at the email address coming up.